An industry insider says that German Tesla Giga Berlin factory is not yet ready for the drive unit production. But there is a good news about which I'm also going to say in this report. Many curious people have waiting for the final approval for the Giga factory in Kronheide, Giga Berlin, which Tesla has been building since the beginning of 2020. Because only then can it produce and sell Model Y in large numbers. Because dozens of new Model Ys have appeared on the site on same days since pre-approval from the beginning of January, some people also assume that the factory is actually just waiting for the official starting signal to start the mass production of Model Y at Giga Berlin. According to information received by the Tesla Mag that the YouTube channel, important technology is still missing for large-scale production at Giga Berlin. But don't worry, there is also good news. Now, the information comes from the environment of the German mechanical engineering industry, which Tesla boss Elon Musk has repeatedly praised. Specialized companies, some of which are little known because they are not listed on the stock exchange, make important contributions to the realization of the Gigafactory near Berlin and other Tesla projects. According to earlier information from Tesla Mag, for example, the German machine builder Saurusik supplies plants for the production of 4680 battery cells in Fremont as well as in Grünheide and Tex uh, Texas, Giga Texas. The gap that Tesla Mag has now become aware of with a view to the German Giga factory is not about batteries. For the time being, the batteries will come from China, as CEO Elon Musk indicated during a visit in October 2021 and confirmed in last week's quarterly report. As you know, Tesla Giga Berlin's battery factory is not yet ready. Unlike the two main buildings for electric car production in Grünheide, the battery building for uh, Tesla's own 4680 battery cells that was started later is not even finished on the outside, but we saw that some inside things and parts are being installed already. However, as was learned from the informed source, the drivetrain unit for the Model Y performance, which can be seen again and again on the Gigafactory site, is not yet being produced on site. It's being imported. The square building next to the long main building is intended for this purpose, but according to the information, not even all the systems required for the drive production, drive unit production at Giga Berlin are on site. They are to be brought to Tesla later. It could be a few months before they reach the large quantities there as well. So it will take some time for Giga Berlin to ramp up the production. The pre-approvals given to Tesla to test production, uh, to test produce the 250 Model Ys and then 2,000 more Model Ys seem to confirm this narrative. This allows the use of the press shop, foundry, body shop, paint shop, and final assembly areas for correspondingly limited quantities. However, neither approval mentions the production of the drivetrain or drive unit or, comp uh, or its components for it on Giga Berlin. Until this area is also up and running, Tesla will source drives as a complete assembly from China or Fremont factory, the source suspected and told uh, uh, Tesla Mag. But production there is running at full speed, so that probably not many components, uh, components were left for Germany. Therefore, for the time being, very limited numbers of Model Y from Gigafactory Berlin can be expected until they start producing their own drive units. So I spoke with Tobias Lind about this issue who has been chronicling Tesla Giga Berlin from day one. He said uh, nothing new is here actually. Drive units are not made at Giga Berlin right now the same way as they were made in Shanghai where they started production. The drive unit building is pretty much empty right now. I asked so Tobias what is the positive about this? What do you think about the positive aspect of the news? He said well the positive thing is that they can start meaning Giga Tesla Giga Berlin can start producing with imported drive units, meaning Tesla Giga Berlin can still start making Model Ys after the final permit for sales and deliveries um, with imported drive units, same as they import battery cells. Tesla Max says in the video, which I will have the link in the description of this video, that it's not about the performance version. It's only needed for the mass production of the long range version. So maybe they won't import the performance 
autonomous motors anyway. So, what do you think, friends, about all these developments at Giga Berlin? Anyway, once the final permit comes, Tesla Giga Berlin will be able to start mass production, but it will take some time until they ramp up production and start producing drive units at Giga Berlin instead of importing it. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news. Ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage. Have a wonderful day. God bless you. And let's move on to our next Tesla story. Breaking news from Tesla Giga Berlin, friends. This morning, Tesla confirmed delivery of Model Y from Giga Berlin in March. In an internal email, Tesla has confirmed its plan to begin deliveries of the Model Y performance from Giga Berlin in Grünheide in March. Previously, a change in the configuration had only indicated it, but now, as Electric.net reports, Tesla has confirmed it. In the email to employees the ger in Germany, which was published in the German Tesla Drivers and Friends Forum, TFF, March is mentioned as the expected start of delivery for the Model Y performance from the German Gigafactory Giga Berlin. The model performance from Berlin can now also be ordered and will be probably reach us from March, it said. In fact, my friend source from Slovenia in Europe also said that he had received a phone call from Tesla Giga Berlin saying the deliveries will happen in March and that he was going to have an email in writing this week. Observers had already suspected that since a change was made in the configurator in January, a delivery date for black and white Model Y performance has now been announced for March for the other finishes in May. Previously, the performance version was only set to be early 2022 from Tesla Giga Berlin. A specific delivery in March could have meant an import or performance models from China, but the mail confirms the probable production in Germany. So, Tesla Giga Berlin is going to start first deliveries in early March. The configurator update also made some other changes for the 2022 model year, including the long range model in Germany, it's called Maximum Range, which continues to come from China thanks to a new battery. The WLTP range of Model Y LR increases from 507 to 532 kilometers, 533 kilometers, and I report reported this on Saturday. However, Tesla has only homo um, homologated the version with the less aerodynamic 20-inch rims according to WLTP. With the 19-inch models, the Model Y has an estimated range of 565 kilometers. The longer range, thanks to an improved energy density of the battery, is also confirmed in the Tesla mail. From a technical point of view, other changes for the 2022 model year Year, include a 15 volt lithium ion battery, which replaces the previous 12 volt battery. In addition, according to Tesla email, a faster processor for improved operation is installed. This should be the AMD Ryzen known from the Model S refresh instead of an Intel processor, since some Model Y performance were already delivered with this processor in China. This step was expected. Interesting for the occupants and drivers of the Model Y. In the Model Y, double gaze windows are now also being installed on the rear doors to improve the acoustics. The now standard parcel shell should also continue to this in order to insulate noise from the trunk. There is also an improved music system and heated fiber plates. So a lot of good improvements in 2022 Model Y that is coming from Giga Berlin. All the changes mentioned from the battery to the windscreen wipers now also apply to the Model 3. The range increases to up to 626 kilometers estimated range with the 18-inch rims and 602 kilometers according to WLTP with the 19-inch rims. One exception, the Model 3 still only has double glazed windows in the front doors. Now, Giga Texas in the meantime will also launch in March but with 46 AD cells. This is another breaking story. Not only Grünheide is the start of the delivery in the front First quarter, Electric claims to have learned from insider sources that Tesla plans to deliver the first Model Y from the new factory in Texas, Giga Texas, before the end of the first quarter. Since both the Model Y production in Texas and production in 4680 cells are a few 
two months behind schedule. Another report from the past few weeks is less surprising because we also, according to information from Reuters, Tesla is postponing the start of production for the Cybertruck until the end of the first uh, quarter of 2023. But the exciting news is that Tesla confirmed that delivery of Model Y from Grünheide in Giga Berlin is going to happen in March. Two years after the start of construction, Tesla will deliver March uh, Giga Berlin made Model Ys. Friends, exciting news. What do you think? Let me know about this, your thoughts in the comment section below. This is Armin Haryan from Torque News. Please subscribe to our channel for I have three more breaking news coming from Tesla today. And also give us thumbs up and like this video, friends, and share in social media. I would greatly appreciate it. Have a wonderful rest of the day. God bless you, everyone. And let's move on to our next Tesla story.